Hi, I'm Chris Rasdell. And I'm Grace Stump. And this is Ballyhoo. So, in Tulsa, recently a couple was arrested for smoking pot while driving with a 20 month old child in the back seat. Ooh, don't be a butt, guys. And a Tulsa family is currently searching for a stolen handicap van. It's a 1996 Ford Windstar. It's white. Here's the tag number. Ding! Somebody stole a handicap van? Yeah, from a quadriplegic. Well, that would be pretty easy. I mean, he's got to get around places. Don't be a butt, guys. So make sure to call this number right here if you actually see that van and make sure it's the right van. We don't want to like, you know, mess up and have the wrong person arrested. Or Yeah, that would be bad. And in national news, Inhofe, our own senator, has opposed military action in Syria. That's right, a Republican opposing military action. But speaking of Syria, there is a Tulsa-based company that is actually trying to send help to Syria. So if you're interested, go to the World Compassion website at this link, ding, which will also be down below in the ch -ch -ch info part so that you can see and you can go there. We can give them money. Like millions of dollars. Well, you don't give them millions, but they've been raising millions. And speaking of fundraisers, a Tulsa family needs a $20,000 handicap van for their son, Jaden. If you would like to donate, you can visit his Facebook page and make a pledge. Wheels for Jaden Alex is the Facebook page. And we got the link. Bling! We got a lot of links today. We got all the links. Don't be a butt, give him some money. If you ever wondered if a homeless man would go viral yet again, a local homeless man has recently become a hero when he salvaged a woman's stolen goods and brought it back to her. And thanks to his good act, the man actually scored a $4,000 donation to Tulsa Day Center, which is a local homeless shelter. He went from homeless man to Superman. And speaking of Superman, most of you already know that Ben Affleck will be playing Batman in the new Superman and Star. Batman movie. But did you know that he also played George Reeves in the Hollywood Land? So he played the man who played Superman, and now he's going to be in a Superman movie, but not as Superman. Coincidence? I don't think so. And now for some Star Wars news. In Japan, there is a series of commercials in which stormtroopers are trying to sell the new Nissan Juke. Because who wouldn't want to buy a car that is stormtrooper approved? I know I would. And we actually have some Lord of the Rings news slash Hobbit news. Mm. Unfortunately, some people are being made to tear down their Hobbit home because inspectors said it was not good for the countryside. What? I've seen those pictures. It's a beautiful home. I think this inspector is being a butt. Don't be a butt. It's moral of the story. And now it's time for some Harry Potter news. This doesn't come around very often, so I'm super excited. So the 15 year anniversary of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone was just a few days ago. It's been that long? It's been that 15 long. 15 years? 15 years. I was a kid. Can you let me finish with the story, please? This is important. I'm reminiscing here. This okay. is important. Okay, go ahead. So JK Rowling did an interview with Good Morning America, and she said that the character that she misses the most is Albus Dumbledore. He was one of my favorites. I think I like Snape better. But Dumbledore's a good man, too. Who do you like better? Snape or Dumbledore? Post down in the comments who you love the most from Harry Potter. Maybe it's Dobby. <laughs> right. <laughs> really? Hey, Dobby's the man. Or the elf. Dobby's the house elf.